Freaking frack! It's the freaking frack show! Word <laughs> up. What up, what up, what up? Yo. What's hey. the deal, y'all? What's the deal? Thank you for coming, tuning back in, yes, checking sir. with us. We're having a good time. Um, we got my homegirl, Renata Lacey. Renata. Yeah. Yo, it ain't our fault though. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. How y'all been doing? Oh man, we've been doing magnificent. What you, what you been up to? Cause you, I mean, you are Miss Busybody. So, you know, talk to us. Talk. How you been? Uh, been pretty good. Been pretty good. Actually, working with y'all as well. So that's a good blessed thing. And my team, RDE Entertainment. We're doing some good things in the community and also bringing different effects to everybody's life and bringing out good, good attributes and everything else to people. So basically, doing real good. And I love what y'all are doing, the freaking frack show. Yeah. I can't believe y'all really did this. <laughs> and it looks good. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, we had no choice, man, because we sitting, we, we listening, we watch the TV, we watching all this stuff, man. And um, some of the messages seem like it's super duper filtered. So we wanted to hit on it and talk about it. I mean, with intakes, intakes of course, but minus the filter. Mm, actually, a lot of the stuff that's going on now is things that I actually used to used to do or been in and actually changed a lot of the things that's going on now. And that's what we plan on doing is making a big difference in the whole world now because we don't work together as a team. That's, one, that's the one biggest thing and that's important right now is the big team. So what is, what is, uh, what are you trying to accomplish with RD? Oh, well, I'm trying to, what are some of the things you have your hands on? Shit. Oh, can I cuss? Can I cuss? Is that how you feel? Like, hey, we all trying to grow into being better, so don't even mind it, but it's all good. (laughs) Boy, RDE, we really going to bring a lot of things to the world, not just your local community, but the whole world, such as... We have business. We also dealing with artists. We are dealing with producing. We are dealing with mix and match. All things about the music and also models, actors, entrepreneurs. Everything that we can bring to y'all. It's not just a small entertainment company. It's an entertainment company that you can bring anything to as long as you're doing something positive. We can help you out. But everybody can't come on board because right. some people just <laughs> not talented. And you gonna have to hear it truly from us. If you're not talented, don't get mad. You might be talented some other way. That's what's up. Look, I'm I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm auditioning for our This is the audition. This is my audition right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we we uh, we're doing pretty good. That's what's Interject up. Interject real quick before we get in further. Oh yeah. We, well, check it out. Um, our Miss dear, Renata brought Miss Renata brought some gifts. Um, she- Four tickets. Attention, Atlanta area. If you are in the Atlanta area, Atlanta Comic Theater, comedy, yeah. Atlanta Comedy Theater, yeah. with who was the guy? Marvin Dixon. Yeah. Hey, so, they legit too. They yeah. legit. I was about to say, dude, funny. <laughs> Go to YouTube, Google them. You know what I'm saying? This, you, you wouldn't, you would not uh, be disappointed. My man, funny though. So Man, should right. we try to offer these to somebody? That's what we should do. Like, look. Is that all right? Hell yeah. All right. Hey, well, <laughs> I mean, sometimes at Christmas you got to re-gift. And we... <laughs> re-gift. Okay, now. Don't re-gift these. <laughs> hey, but the gesture, the thought, is the thought that counts. And if we get reached out, it'll be cool. Word. So this is how we're going to do it. If you hear us say, give me those... If you comment when you watch this video and say, give me those tickets... Freaking frack. The first person to ask that will send you guys these four tickets and y'all can go see them. But it's between what is it, October 20th through the 23rd. So you gotta do it in kind of like a timely manner. And the first person to comment on that, like, do that. That's true. Give me those ticks, freaking frack. Give me those ticks. Y'all heard Um, what he said. He said, y'all better comment on that and tell him. Yeah. Tell them, get them yeah. tickets, freaking frack. Yeah. Matter of fact, I say share it. Share it with 49 people. Screenshot that and then holler at me. That's what I say. Because we want y'all to see the show. I mean, we, you know, we take... Atlanta Comedy Theater. Most definitely. It's, it's, it's some good stuff. 
Oh. So, now let's be, look, I ain't never, look, I be doing radio now. They doing some hot shit right there. You got two ways to win some tickets with four tickets. <laughs> two ways, and you ain't got to pay for nothing. Most definitely. That's, That's gangster. Good. That's gangster. Yo, did you see the, um, this weekend or whatever, the, 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 the Michelle A. Jen came out with the, <laughs> The that new beats by one. Dre. <laughs> that was stupid. He just said I mean, the new, he just <laughs> said the new beats by Dre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Hey. I ain't messing with you. That right there was not right. Man, yo, that wasn't and right. we caught it briefly. I didn't even know that movie was coming out. Word up. But I, we caught it on accident, like halfway through. And you just seen the ass. Yo, we went from like looking at it and like. Doing things and then to sitting down and watching it and then to just like what are we watching here? <laughs> Word, like oh we had, my goodness, we left crazy. like yo, I'm gonna see this from crazy. the beginning because I mean I don't know. Sometimes you want to get a, a understanding of what was happening, but the way that it looked, man, it don't look good for homie. I hope that you know whatever it is he going through, he prayed for that. One. Whoa. Oh man, some of the memes that are on this uh, Twitter. Oh, they eating them up. Eating them no up, man. I feel well. I mean, <laughs> no, you I mean, should not feel bad. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, because that was like it's just real. Now, you know what it is? Like, I'm not giving them. I'm not trying to give anybody the benefit of the doubt. But it was just like shocking how like she the the wound that she was poking. It was just like. You oh, thought it was going to move on to something like more of the music aspect of what was happening behind the scene, but she was just touching on him. But no, nah, she did, though, because what she was... Oh, yeah. Nah, it was what? it was like, um, yes, yeah, she, she it touched on the music part because it was like some of them joints that we was listening to and loving these songs, like, you know, from being a fan of Michelle A back in the day, mm -hmm. she was Those singing songs them songs under him. pressure. No, nah, I'm talking about under pressure. Yeah, like, that was true too. But you know what? That goes back on people like when you, well, women anyway, when we like deal with entrepreneurship, like she was an artist. And with her being an artist, you think that you're in love with somebody, or you might think that you have that certain vibe with a person, they have their best interest at heart. And we all make mistakes. Now, I ain't gonna say I would have sat there and got an ass whooping, but those are the mistakes that we all make. And as we get older and we start learning, it's like what we, what can we do to contribute back to the community so nobody else has to go back through that again. Most definitely. So you know it, it do go back into that that state of matter. I'm not saying that it was right whatsoever, especially Dre and Shooter Mike. That was a big nigga right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And I think he smacked that one good time. She said on the thing. I mean. Both. And he was like, "You too small for me to smack like that." I'm like, "Nigga, if you feel that, then you should smack no you woman." You smack no woman. Well, and I don't approve of no woman. Oh, I mean, straight up. Who That's does? A, I mean, you a should. Business. And if, that was probably what was happening within their own circle because Easy E, it seemed like he had a problem with it. And he was more like, but I think he was a little maybe conflicted because he didn't want to feel like he was stepping in his. But I would have said like, it, Not just Easy, yeah. it seemed like all of them except for him and Shook yeah. had an issue with it because um, Jerry Heller said something about it, uh, Easy said something about it, Cube said something about it. And they just continue to uh, break her nose and all kinds of stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's true. And that goes back on, like, when you build an any time. I'm not going to try to piggyback on a TV show empire, but when you're building something, you have to have people that's on your team that's going to be grounded and real. Because right is right, wrong is wrong. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who you are. I don't give a damn if you're the president or, you know, you the man, it doesn't matter. If you're wrong, you're wrong. I don't care if you make a billion dollars. At the end of the day, that billion dollars is going to be sitting from me by God all day. And I ain't trying to religion, but this is what it is. You can't you can't run around here and do stuff like that. Even 20 years down the line, here it comes, pop up again. Now we're seeing Dre whoop a woman, woman at. Now only Michelle A, she, he whooping a damn um The lady from the you know what I'm from um, MTV, I think, tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, it showed that. That he he punched her in her face and told her um you folks had did an interview just on NWA and yoked her up and punched her and she said she won't have it that she went to court with it yeah oh man well, I'll tell you and what he, those scenes were jaw dropping bro. oh most definitely I couldn't believe it and then Lifetime told it, like it was on Lifetime that is so like crazy and bro. what a time for something like this to come out when when uh, we got presidential candidates oh, coming yeah. with the same yo. What's happening yeah, right now? And, and look, if y'all don't treat him like Bill Cosby, then man, y'all tripping, man. Y'all tripping. Yeah. Word up. Heck yeah. Because it's.
in the in the court of public opinion, Bill Cosby got slaughtered <laughs> with with no Vaseline. You know? <laughs> Man, yeah. hey, home, hey. The and the crazy thing was, we ain't even witnessed what his stuff was talking about. They we witnessed the old boy become a complete utter fool. I want to use other words, but yeah. You know, well, you're definitely gonna Bill look Cosby. at him in a different light. Word. You put him pop. <laughs> no, not put him pop. Oh. I'm talking about um, the, the 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 candidate dude. Um, oh, I ain't. I don't even pay attention to that crap right now. The Donald Trump, like that cat. I mean Trump. What whatever his name is. Plato um, has a hard time with Mr. Trump. Unfortunately, our candidate is a. Uh, how can you not, man? Because, <laughs> hey, you I, I feel like you almost have to. Like, we're, all the... You think about the way society is set up, you know, all the all the things is is, is geared towards uh, equality and, and respect for women and, you know, all of these things. And then the very person that's running to be president is that guy. That guy, yeah. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> like, how we... <laughs> What happened? As us as a whole, we need to start doing things. I mean, that's the purpose of me even coming up with entertainment company I came up with is that we have to, we can't just worry about them. The biggest thing is Donald Trump, he's going to do what he do. He bought that money. I don't care what way you want to put it. No, I don't give a damn about this election. But I don't care what way you want to put it. That's why we have to make an impact on everything. Yeah. Because they're not going to make an impact. They're making fools of themselves. So... I don't want to go behind them and say, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. No, that ain't what you're not. That's not what you're supposed to do at all. What are uh, some of the ways uh, you want RDE to be impactful in your community? And I can hear what I really want us to do is actually give, give well, everybody give back to the community. But I want us to actually bring entertainment to a lot of our youth because right now it's social media, it's TV that I youth see. So why not make an impact in those type of things that we can actually youth and bring our youth out of everything we're going through. We don't need to be having kids seeing, you know, what and all that. How about we show them that we come together as people, as love each other. Yeah. Let's do together as a family. You know, reunite. Let's do scheduling. You know, half our kids nowadays, they we ain't even going to college no more. Oh, yeah. And they tell us as the team member used to tell me, well, go to University of YouTube. What the hell? <laughs> Why you? Hey, yeah. I subscribe. See? <laughs> Why you playing? Um, well, that's, that's real talk, but you know, in 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 what you just said right now, you yourself have a pretty interesting story. Like, you know, you you kind of rose from the ashes as well. You know, I, I did my homework. Y'all doing y'all homework? Y'all hey, homework. do your homework. Listen, you know, listen, my girl a G. Triple O G. Triple O G. Yeah, <laughs> my girl a G. Look. <laughs> Rise from the ashes. You, you had a pretty interesting, you know, life. And how do you, yeah. how do you, how do you, how do you use that? Because I'm sure you do. Because you know, all good preachers was pimps at one time. You know what the hell, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had my past. The thing is, um. Honestly, I was raised from a good family. My mother was in the military. I was the hard hit one. So at 17, I owned an adult entertainment company. And I ran it from 25. I was actually. <laughs> I was actually. That's what I'm looking like. Yeah, it's true. I mean, people in Virginia, they definitely know. I, um, to this day, I have a girl probably called me and was like, yo, if you would have kept doing it, you'd been bigger than Joe Pro. And y'all know Joe Pro was like one of the big punk guys. But. DJ as well, but me, I got out of it only because I thought I would do right by getting out of it. But what I did, I actually brought to the table was a lot of females out there because I'm a woman myself. And when I, my own, I, I hope owned so. it. I think you look yeah. like one. Yeah, because right, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't trying to hate Atlanta, but hey. <laughs> but seriously, you know, I actually took a lot of females that used to dance at certain clubs and giving up this stuff for like $25 or whatever. I'm like, look, you're worth more than that. So the thing is, if you wanted to do it, you know, don't put a label on yourself like that. That's first and foremost. 
but you always can, you know, you gotta, like Diamond said, you know, don't don't let the money make you, you make the money. So the thing was, we would do parties, and when I had booked the girls for parties, I was there. I was always stay strapped up, I watched the girls move, and if a guy had a dollar, two dollars, and they holding it for like two minutes, yo, we about to make money. Why not like this? And they like, we know what that means, go to the next guy. Cause it's a, it's a job, it's not just we out there without that stripping and stuff, so you can't say that that was the only thing to do. A lot of females got out of it behind what I was doing because they made good money and they was able to put the money up and actually move into a house, pay for a house, and have nice cars, their kids are good, rather than paying and getting $100 a night. They were making like four or $500 a night with me. Yeah. And I'm like, that's good money. Can I ask you one thing? Yeah, I take, I take males too. No, I was taking males too, but I was joking. <laughs> yeah. I remember she's like, I stayed strapped up. Yeah, but you have to. You have to. <laughs> Hey, don't tell no, me. I'm you, like, where's your black book? <laughs> now that, those are the things I couldn't do because I, I used to deal with a couple of celebrities, but I'm not going to say no name, but like even with business that I have now, um, I even branched off from there and own my own in a cleaning company. And we do a lot of construction cleaning. So I went from one entrepreneur to another, but the thing is, the worst thing that you ever want to meet is a person that knows two sides, business and street. Yeah. Because they're going to run with everything they can. Yeah. So a lot of people are like, oh, she don't know nothing, she don't do this. No, I just like to stay out the light, but I know a lot about business now. This technology y'all got, y'all can have that. <laughs> I don't know nothing about technology, but business-wise, it's for us to run with it and take everything we can, and that's what I built RDE for because it's looking like the entertainment industry is just like getting washed up and it's that's not what it should be. Yeah. I don't remember cutting on the TV and looking at every, everybody fighting all day and be this and suck my such and such this. That stuff yeah. I'm getting tired of hearing. Yeah. You don't that's do all, it. That must have been a real, I'm pretty sure it was pretty rough moments trying to get, you know, that rising from them. It keep calling me. It keep yeah. calling me. <laughs> Pookie. It keep it calling me. Oh, some good money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good money. How much? Nah. <laughs> nah, don't say that. Yeah, I they, know. Huh? They be listening. Hey, uh, hit us up, man, if you want these tickets. Uh, say anything. Just comment. Word. Give me those ticks, freaking frack, and we'll send you these tickets, but do it within a timely manner, October 20th through the 23rd. Atlanta Comedy Theater, Marvin Dixon. Yeah, so we'll that means you got to get on it now. So as soon as you film this, see, or as soon as you watch this episode, you know, we're looking at who comments first on it. If you say, give me those ticks, brick and frack, we'll send you those tickets. Are you In the Atlanta area. How many people that tag? I say tag fit 49 because you can't do but 49. No, just tell them to ask for the tickets and whoever's the first one on the list. But I want I want to make sure they selling this, man. Yeah, tag everything. I want I want I want, I want them to I'll share. Look, 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 we having a good time. You rubbing we, we, off on him with all this entrepreneurial yeah. shit. Come on, come on, yeah. Word up. Yeah. yeah. Hey, drop some science, some yeah, knowledge. Right. You know drop what I'm saying? Some knowledge, kid. At all times. <laughs> it don't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, take God. that, take that. <laughs> Lord, saying, have mercy. But we got those ticks, hit us up. Mm. Word. Let us know. Make sure you get in. Get it in. Yeah. Get it. I'll put get frack. It. Get it. He's frack. <laughs> I'm frack, yo. Look, I'm auditioning for RDE. <laughs> Check my faces. <laughs> that work? No. Y'all ain't ready, man. No, so we had a. Um, we did this song, we helped you film it for, uh, what was that? It was, you brought us into this tight, like, music studio, and her people was, like, getting it in on the camera. You want to explain some of that? We can't tell everything, but it is. Or just uh, a little something that's coming something up. That you're working on. Yeah, we're definitely working on something. I didn't mean to bring that up. We ran, <laughs> we ran <laughs> over. We're claiming a reality show, and we're going to break the industry dealing with music. That's the biggest thing that we're worried about right now is industry of music and being real to everything that you do so what like what what like to to the people out there that's interested in doing music and and or or whatever it is that they do um why you why why would they why would they want to be you know a part of rde like you tell me what what's the main attraction because we have a heart (laughs) 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, we really care about people. We really want to get you to the next level. It ain't about give me, give me, give me. Let's work together. Because if you got something and you can work with me and I have something I can work with you, let's do this and find a run with it. It's not about, you know, taking advantage of people. It's not about saying, yeah, you the hot shit right here. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be on the next live TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you're on the next live TV, but your stuff is flopped. So why deal with it? That's real. That's real. So, you might, you might so not be a rapper, but you might have the best state form in the world. So is it like it, um, get more RDE? It, it, what, does it buy you like network? Does it, you know, does it, you know, does it? Oh. Does it does it buy you? Because uh, that's what it sounds like an ultimate network. RDE will buy you a lot in life. Period. It can be knowledge. It can also be anything that you want, as long as you feel that the sky's the limit. And we're gonna be there. We're gonna push you. We have outlets for different things that you can do. Down the radio, networking, filming. Now, you know, when it's not show, so we got filming going on. Not only do we have filming, we have people that mix and master and beats and music. You have songwriters on our team. We have model people that's on our team. We have people that can help you build your website. Everything is on that team. We have people that can prepare your computer, show you what's going on, to bring it to us. So it's not just like you just learning one thing. You actually learn a lot. So at the end of the day, you come to RDE, you ain't going to go wrong. But that's you can't come. Hold on. You can't come up with no lame stuff now. Hey. So we're doing <laughs> consultations and everything else. Look, I got this. I got this track. I got this track that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Serious business. Serious business. Serious business. I got this track, and uh, we we having a, we we're filming the video, and the video is gonna be on the party bus. Oh, I be there. I wanna be on that party bus. That's so what I'm saying. Why? So <laughs> strippers. I don't know. So for me, for me, for me, and my my what? For me and. Uh, you know, me wanting to uh, use RDE or be, you know, in RDE, I'm basically hire you like a concierge service. Um, you know, maybe to get the bus. And yeah, you take the phone call yeah. um, to make sure these people Schedule. get to where they need to be instead That's of my phone going crazy. And, you know, I give them to you at, a, at whatever fee right. so that, you know, you can be the organizer for me. Is that something that... Is that something that you you guys provide? I mean, because I mean, I'm talking about from you the ground up. You don't want a headache. Look, not. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's like for me. Okay, it's like this. I'm an artist myself. Yeah, I'm doing the freaking frack, you know. But I love music, and I'm an artist myself. So, in in some of the things that I would that would benefit me, right, is being able to have like a concierge service. Like I got I got um, a couple homeboys, True Blood. Shout out. Shout out True Blood. Them, them cats is, is awesome with what they do. The twins, they, man, and they got a killer team. But with RDE, that's something you know that for me, that would help me in right. in my quest. Like you want to focus more on being the artist sometimes, and you don't have and time. That's what we bring like to them. Having a, like I gotta rent the bus. I gotta get all the props for the video. And, Get people's schedules lined up when you really just want to focus on yeah, the performance of the thing. So it'd be nice to have some of those duties relieved sometimes. That is what RDE actually brings to the table. We bring that and we also bring anything you need for art. It doesn't matter if you're doing modeling, acting, or whatever. Our team is based on whenever you act out there, you doing your you make you being a talent. You don't have to worry about being an A class or nothing because when you're under us, you gonna feel like you A class. You shouldn't have to do anything, and we're there to support you. That's what our team is for. That's what's so up. So while you out there doing your thing, we are gonna actually pushing you as well. That's what's up. So all y'all up and coming artists in the Atlanta region, matter of fact, whole Southeast region. I mean, I don't know how, how far does this stretch. Every damn way, cause we <laughs> tagging up with up. people in Colorado, Arkansas, New York, wherever you can that's get it. Up. That's what we doing today. That's, that's what's real up. talk. And I got. You know, a Arizona family that that's second to none. Shout out A Z Tucktown. So holla at us if you wanna holla at R D E. Word up. Word. Word up. Drink back. Northside. <laughs> <Mess. laughs> that's what's up. Like you say, y'all definitely holla at us. Y'all can find us on social media under R D E underscore team. Y'all can find us on Twitter, Snapchat, some more stuff. Y'all will call this in social media, but you find us on the RDE underscore team. Um, we also have a website we're launching. It's RDE 
rdeteam.com. So definitely check us out and we're going to be pulling up a lot of things that's going on in our social, our little area here and out of state. So we definitely stay on the lookout for it. We're going to Facebook yeah. pull us up on the RDE team as well. That's what's up. And, I mean, we plug, yo. Yup. Yeah. Yo. And she bought us these tickets. I'm telling y'all. And we, hit us up. And we don't film it yeah. with freaking Frank. Yeah. You know, yeah. Right. Hit us up. You'll get these tickets if you're in the Atlanta area, the 20th through the 23rd. Holla at us. Yeah. Hey. Matter of fact, let me, when you win the tickets, let me know what show you're going to. I'll come hang with you. I'll come hang with you. Hey, we want that section, though, where the security guard ain't really messing with us. Yeah, if we got to uh, slide him a dub. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I heard you can do that in there. Yeah, 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 you know. Smoke, smoke drink, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I need that section where you like leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Buy you a drink. Most definitely. Most definitely. But um, yo. Is that it? Renata. It's Renata. RDE. RDE, come get those ticks if you want them. Holla at us. We'll send them to you. We so Atlanta sincere. Area. Word. Atlanta Comedy Theater. Word. RDE. RDE. Freaking Frank. Word. Thanks for having me on y'all show. Freaking Frank.